The same Regis also has a car that's available for use if you're a guest. Uh, anywhere within two miles of downtown, but it's first come, first serve. If you come out of the St. Regis, you can see the White House is just straight shot down the street, right there. So if you're coming to go to the White House, it's probably a good spot. All right, I've checked into the St. Regis. I am in room 524. Hmm. First thoughts. I feel like I'm walking into like my grandmother's bedroom. All right, first thoughts is I don't love this. This is ugly to me um if it's your taste i apologize but this to me is ugly i literally don't like anything about any of the decor <laughs> i feel bad saying that but it's just that it's my taste i mean that chandelier is crooked and it worries me that it's going to come off the ceiling i think if this is your taste again i apologize but it's not mine I don't understand the contrast between this couch, which is also ugly, and this carpet, which does not match. And then, can we talk about the curtains? Um, yeah, no. This is not in any way, shape, or form anything that I like. I've never been so glad to say that I'm only going to be here a few days, because I, I don't, I just can't. I, I found something I like. It's... It's got drawers. Only two, but it's better than none. I do like the updated coffee. That's nice. Oh, the closet has two more drawers. That's nice. And actually enough hangers for me for this week, which is rare. Nice big mirror. Do you like that to check your, off your outfit in the morning? And again, the bathroom. I mean, <laughs> you guys, come on. This is like a relic from the 80s. They have a phone in the toilet. So weird. I like the shower though. I'll take the shower. It's stone. Oh, you know what it smells like in here? It smells like a pool. I like that. I thought that just brings good memories. But look how everything's tilted. Do you see how that's not flat? It's tilted. Everything in this place is like slightly off kilter. And this is different. I will say this. I've never seen facial cleansing oil as a as a product that I can use, but I, I like that. But the, these products don't match these products, which makes me wonder if someone just left those behind. I didn't want to forget to, um, to say this. The room, well, ugly to me. The bed was comfortable, I'll give them that. I just wanted to be fair. And the couch was comfortable, so ugly but comfortable. I didn't want to forget to like tell you guys that. So I woke up and I'm like, oh, I better do that. So, you know, comfortable beds are important and the couch is important. So if the aesthetic's not as important to you, this place is fine. But I came downstairs and I couldn't figure out where the gym is because it doesn't really say you have a sign. But now I see this, this sign on the wall. So here it is. All right, so this is the lower level gym. It's small. Um, but I've, I've never found most gyms when I'm traveling are busy. This is nice. They have headphones, water, apples. That's always nice. They have free weights. They got the bikes. I'm sure, Peloton, because everybody has Pelotons now. So if you have a subscription, you can do your Peloton workouts. If I hadn't already done like 14,000 steps today, this is where I would be. So this is where you get off the elevators to go to the gym. See, there is no really sign, just something for the restrooms and for the um, meeting rooms, but that's the gym over there. It just doesn't have a sign, so go look for it. Dating back to the battles of Napoleon Bonaparte, who famously opened champagne with a saber, 
in both victory and defeat, the ceremony at the St. Regis is their signature ceremony celebrating the transition from day to night. This is my second trip to Blagden Alley. A friend who lives in DC sent me last year to check it out, and I was wandering down the alley thinking, where is she sending me? But it's so interesting. Inside this system of interior alleyways, there's a booming commercial core of craft cocktails, coffee, street art, and one of the city's popular new restaurants, which I didn't know was here, and we just happened upon today, so we're gonna check it out. We just happened upon the Daphne and stopped in, and I gotta tell you, the food's amazing. We've tried a couple of things so far. See that? See that? These are the wild ramp hush puppies, also delicious. So good. And they brought us some towels so we could wipe our hands off after the hush puppies. Very nice touch. We're not sure why, but they're treating us like gold too. These were compliments of the chef and they gave us a, a tour of the kitchen. All right, all I heard when he put this down was that it's on a bed of cheese fondue. <laughs> all right, we got the catfish um, on a potato roll. It's a sandwich that they sell out of all the time and they kind of told us to try it. Yeah, they're right. So last night I was um, I was watching TV and you know you got, I got that creep factor that like somebody was outside the hotel door so I was like looking they pushed something under the door there was somebody there it's the weirdest thing I've never got this they sent me a letter like they pushed it under the door asking if I could check out prior to 9 a.m. now I am an ambassador um, level at at Marriott so I can stay until like four in the afternoon I was gonna do a late checkout. They, yeah, 9 a.m., like out of the blue, this was like at 10 o'clock at night. So I'm like, you know, so I read the letter. They're offering me like 10,000 points to do it. I'm like, yeah, I could pack up and be gone for 10,000 points, absolutely. So like, here I am rushing through the morning. I'm gonna go get those 10,000 points. Mm -hmm. 